Hello all, Chief Pepper here. Let's talk about something. I think I've come up with the, uh, like the catchphrase for my channel. Information is knowledge and power. Let's talk about that for a little bit and talk about something that nobody, and when I say nobody, nobody is talking about. Throughout the ages, there has been typically two classes of people who had information education knowledge and power and they use that information knowledge and power to control the uh, poor people is what I'll call it so why do you why do you think I'm talking about this back in the olden days people who were uh, priests Specifically, Catholicism, typically. I mean, it, uh, they all have something, but they had information and knowledge and power, even though it was based on whatever religion they were worshipping. The, call it knights, kings, people who were, who were exposed to information, knowledge, and power. It's kind of like on Game of Thrones when the black-headed son that's... Uh, a Targaryen, I think, long line. Anyway, he had skills that the poor people that he was lumped in together with that Night's Watch didn't have. So when you have that ability and skill, it's easy. It's kind of like a boxer taking on somebody who doesn't know how to fight or somebody who knows martial arts or taekwondo or you know, pick a thing or you know, somebody who knows how to use a weapon. That, uh, against someone who doesn't. So that's basically what it is. So you might be wondering why I'm talking about this. You know, I'm not a spring chicken. I've got white hairs. Uh, got them up here too. You just can't see them. Got them in the eyebrows. I picked those out. But uh, back in the 80s, when I was first going to college in the summer of 85, actually right before I went to college, I was talking to somebody who was in a fraternity and I know for a fact based on his testimony that back then they had what's called test banks so you know we'll wonder what a test bank is a test bank is a professor has typically at best three versions of the exam that he gives on an extreme rare occasion four and that was back then I don't know what it is now uh, so when you have enough people go through and take that professor's class, they build uh, questions and answers for the tests for that professor. And they build a test bank so that there's a reason the fraternity brothers, the sorority sisters are the same thing. They build test banks. So back then you had what's called uh, legacy sorority and fraternity brothers and sisters where uh, somebody was a pledge and if his father was a fraternity member he was almost guaranteed to be accepted uh, and then the same thing for the legacy sorority sister where her mother was a member of the sorority so what was happening was back then people were becoming sorority members and fraternity members and you always I mean all the people like me who was never going to be one of those people I was like, well, how's that motherfucker always out drinking and partying and getting drunk and passing out on the lawn and doing the shit that they do and going to school and passing? That's why. That's an example of the power of information and knowledge that they exert over people. So, uh, for all you people that may watch this channel, if you have kids in college, I'm going to give you a question to ask them. Because cheating has gone mainstream. I graduated college in May of 20, 2020. And I started in January of uh, 2018. And uh, I was in the school for two full semesters. And then somebody mentioned something to me. Quizlet. For all you parents out there who have a kid in college, ask them if they know what Quizlet is. And if they give you a deer in the headlights look, I'm like, oh shit. It's because they're using it. And if they're using it, they're cheating. They're not learning anything. Uh, 
The good news is there are typically professors in every university that they give exams that you just cannot cheat on. They give you questions that you you can't cheat on. Uh, I know this because I took uh, some of those professors and while I excelled uh, because I studied, there were people, one one girl and one guy, one class, after the first exam, the average was a 35. The average. I got a 75. So I was above average. There were other people who did even better than me. So he curved the grade 12 points on the first exam. And better than half the class failed. One woman and another guy stood up in class and said, I am not an F student. I don't get Fs. I don't get 30s and 40s and blah, 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 blah. You know, the professor's not stupid. He knows these motherfuckers ain't studying. And so, why am I talking about this? I'm not positive. This is conjecture. But I suspect that any time of society that where the rich and powerful are losing the edge of knowledge and information as a powerful tool. Because here's the thing. There's only so much money in the world. So when the uber rich stop being less rich because there's more information out there. There's more knowledge and there's more power dispersed amongst the populace. Because, you know, for someone who's poor to become rich, that means somebody who's rich has to become more poor. They don't like that shit. Think about that. You know, you you hear about the uber rich who've got these doomsday bunkers that they're going to be able to go into for a year and not come out and live life good. I ain't got that. Uh, I don't know of anybody that I know of that has that, you know. So, if you think about that, what are they... Excuse me, there's a young. What are they setting the world up for? What are they going to do to us? All right. So, now that's notwithstanding the balloon that went over us. I just watched the video from Northern Girl Hobbies and she posted something from somewhere else. And I was like, wow. Apparently, a high altitude small nuke is very powerful EMP wise. You put off a big nuke. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna have no electricity. And then it's the 90 10 theory, you know, 90% will be dead in a year and 10% will survive. So, the, uh, yeah, think about the throughout history. The Roman Empire collapsed when it was the height, or it was, it was at the height and then it started declining. And why was it at the height? Lots of rich people, lots of poor people, lots of people in the middle. Uh, the rich do not like middle class. Uh, the poor do not like middle class. And when the middle class gets too big or when there's too many poor people figuring out how to become rich, the rich people don't like that shit. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's really all I wanted to talk about is how there's a dynamic of information and power. You know, if you have information, it's power. And how throughout history, the rich, whether it's because of nobility born or uh, they were a king or they were like in modern day, they're congressmen and senators. They're not born like that. They get elected that and they go in there, you know, making 174,000 a year and they leave with 10 million five years later. So, yeah, it's not an accident. So, you know. I, I'm buying more and more into the two wings of the same fucking bird. You know? I think our government's compromised. And I, I think that's a very bad thing. And I, I hope they get what's coming to them in the end. I hope someone strings their ass up from a tree. Makes them into strange fruit. Some people know that reference. Anyway. Y'all have a safe weekend. It's Saturday night. I just finished doing some walking. Do this quick video. It ain't going to be quick, but it's a thing. Uh, Chief Prepper, out. Information and knowledge is power.